Hello, my sweets. Welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. This is Helen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys are doing well and that you are at home safe and healthy. So today I bring to you another Chanel inspired DIY video. As you can see from my inspiration picture that I found on Pinterest, uh, we, I see this, you know, beautiful piece of art uh, with the Chanel obviously it's either on a piece of glass or on canvas and I just love the take that they did on it with the flowers so this is just an idea to let you know that you can do give it any kind of take that you want on yours so today to get started we're going to need two of these hula hoops and they're each 20 and a half inches in diameter And as you can see, this one has kind of like that emoji print on it. And so when I remove the paper, and I know I don't mean to uh, scare you guys with this exacto knife, believe me when I tell you that I have to throw it away because it's so dull and I didn't hurt myself, it was okay. But as you can see, as I'm removing the, uh, it took some time, but I eventually it came off. And this is what the color is underneath for this particular one. Now, I don't know if all of them have the same color, uh, underneath but this one did so what you want to do is that you want to pull it apart and you're gonna go ahead and remove that piece right there we're not gonna need it and then you want to go ahead and remove those little beads that are inside that make that little noise when you um, move around with the hula hoop so here I'm showing you my living room floor as you can see I didn't have to do any type of cutting when you pull it apart you're left exactly with the C which is what you want and I don't mind this color either um, but feel free to spray paint it any color that you want just make sure when you buy them that the, mine was a little off one of them they weren't the exact same size even though they were the same size quote unquote so make sure when you buy yours that they are you know the same in diameter you're gonna need one of these zip ties that you can find at Dollar Tree or at Walmart you want to use one that has this kind of a thickness of a zip tie so I went ahead and placed mine on top and if you notice the little tip of the zip ties is kind of like a little square you want to make sure that when you place your zip ties that you end up with them in the back of your CC logo so that way they don't get in the way when it's time for you to place your gems so that's very important you guys so you want to go ahead and adjust your CC you don't want them to be you don't want that metal part to be too far apart or too together you want to mimic the logo as much as possible and when you're absolutely happy with the gap in between there then you want to adjust your um, zip ties and so that's what that's looking like so far So these gems right here I got from AliExpress or Alibaba, I'm not quite sure. I will link it down below. I will be very honest with you guys. These are one inch square and they took over a month to get here. So they do take a very long time. Um, I will link them down below in case you want to get them if you don't mind waiting that long. And I will also link down below one inch square mirrors as an alternative that you can use. And I will also link a one inch round gems in case you don't want to use the square ones. You can use the round ones. So I was going to start at the end of my hula hoop here, but then I decided to place my first gem right there in the middle. And this is what I mean when I say that the zip tie little piece, you don't want it in the way because you're going to go ahead and place your gem, obviously. So you want to make sure that it's in the back. Now I do recommend, I highly recommend that you sand these hula hoops. Give it a quick sand, but a good sand so that way your glue adheres and your gems don't fall off because believe me like I always tell you I'm honest with you guys they do fall off if you just use the hot glue and you don't sand them down and I recommend that you use your strongest glue like your E6000 or something comparable like I always say for long term and then along with your hot glue for an immediate hold and then you go ahead and you place your gems okay but please give this a, a nice sand uh, before you start the process so for the video I'm just using my hot glue another thing that I want to mention about these gems is that when you if you happen to make a mistake in your placement and you want to pull them off the paint from the back does peel off it happened to me quite a few times 
But my husband did have a good idea. He said you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or even Michael's. They sell that mirror reflective spray paint. And you can go ahead and spray paint the back of the gems. Because that is what they have behind them. It's kind of like a mirror reflective uh, spray paint. So that way you don't lose out on them. So as you continue to glue these along, you wanna go along with the curve of the hula hoop. You want to make sure that your hula hoop doesn't show. And at the same time, you want to leave some kind of a ledge in the back of the gem so that you can place your string lights. If you decide that that's what you wanna do. In my case, I decided that I wanted to apply my string lights and I will show you that coming up. And this is what it's looking like so far once I applied my gems. As you can see, you wanna make sure that everything is aligned as you curve along placing your gems. Make sure that one gem is not higher than the other and that sort of thing. Uh, so right here, I'm placing my last gem and I will show you in a close up that I was left with a little gap. So I do have these little uh, thin gems that I'm gonna place one in there just to fill in that gap. And I used one of those gems in my previous video when I did that uh, perfume inspired uh, brush, uh, makeup brush holder. That same gem is what I'm gonna place there. Now, here's the thing, this one gem right here, I placed it because I wanted to do the same thing that I did on top, but I ended up removing it later because I should have started on the other side and worked my way down uh, because I was left with a gap. So I had to remove it and then place it again, if that makes sense. So what I recommend that you guys do, honestly, is that you place your gems temporarily on your hula hoop with some tape or something, make sure you have enough, make sure they're aligned well, um, before you glue them down permanently. So that's just an idea. So you see here, mine is a little too further up, so I had to bring it down, because again, you want everything to be unison and you want everything to align as you go along. So that's just another tip for you guys. If you have a way of placing these down with maybe some double-sided tape carefully, nothing that's gonna take the paint off of your gems. And then once you're sure, you can go ahead and place them down permanently. So here are those battery uh, string lights that I will link down below. I love these, you already know. They're a very thin battery pack. You can hide them easily. So you see that little gap there? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place and hot glue my string lights and I'm gonna go all along my hula hoops on the top and even in the bottom, I still have some space there. And this is what I mean. I used a total of four string lights. So you see, I was able to put on top, on the top ledge, and I was even able to come underneath some. So your placement of your gems is very important so that you can hide your hula hoop, but at the same time, you have a ledge to place your lights. And at the end, I'm just gonna show you what everything looks like coming right up. This is a really nice find that I found recently at Dollar Tree when I went really quick. It reminds me of the Chanel flower, as you can see right here. I went to Dollar Tree the other day to get some necessary essentials, and of course, your eyes wander, and so I, I noticed these are new to Dollar Tree, and they, are, um, they have lights in them. I thought they were so beautiful, and you can do so much with them. And again, I thought they were perfect for this DIY. They remind me of the Chanel flower, so. What I did is this cameo paint color is what it's called, I got it at Walmart. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this and obviously you can paint it any color that you want. Just make sure that when, as you go along that you paint the inside of the flower because when you look through the flower, you can see underneath obviously. So you wanna get all in there and cover everything. So to give it that extra something, and I just decided to take this uh, rhinestone wrap and go all around the flower and embellish it in that way. And I think it just reminded me even more of that Chanel uh, flower as well. And I know I'm gonna get questions about my uh, fireplace there. I just want to let you guys know that I got that at Family Dollar, not Dollar Tree, obviously. 
or Dollar General. I got it at Family Dollar and I think it was about $15. Now it was it was all black and I was the one that added the mirrors from a frame that I had, a mirrored frame. I added those to the fireplace and I just love it. And so here it is, you guys. Um, this is our very grand piece of artwork. I think it turned out beautiful. It's such a beautiful statement. It's huge, honestly. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the hula hoops me uh, measure 20 and a half inches. But when you pull them apart, they end up being from top to bottom, uh, about 25, 25 inches from the highest point of the C. And then across is about 42 inches. So this is pretty large, you guys. And this will make such a beautiful statement on any wall. I love it. And like I mentioned before, you can do this with flowers, obviously with gems. You can do this with whatever you like. And what I wanted to know is the flowers, as you can see, I put one on either end. I want to know what you guys think. Do you like it with or without the flowers? I'm really curious um, to know what you guys think. And also, if you was to recreate this, would you do it with the flowers? Would you incorporate the lights? This is what obviously it looks like when the lights are dimmed. I think this is gorgeous. This will look beautiful in any background, any paint color wall, any wallpaper. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. And I can't believe that we made this with two hula hoops, you guys. And this didn't take me long at all. It took me about maybe two to three hours. It was just so quick. I didn't have to cut anything. I barely had to sand it, or I do recommend you sand it pretty well. I didn't spray paint it. I didn't cut it. I mean, it was just so simple. And no one would ever know that it was with two hula hoops. And another uh, thing, it's very light in weight. It doesn't, it's so light. You can actually hang this up with a few command strips, which is what I recommend you doing, or an invisible, one of those invisible fishing string lights or something like that. So I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. But of course, I want to know what you guys think. I value your opinion. Let me know if this is something that you're going to recreate. I want to hear from you. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you want more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.